Hey up lads and lasses, how's the doing? But you weren't expecting me to introduce this week's Talking Bosses. Um, apologies for last week's absence. I was away at Alton Towers, which wasn't too bad of a day. But if you are thinking of going, I would wait probably till next year. Social distancing kind of ruined it a little bit. But it was a good day. I am joined this week, of course, by Alex. And hello everybody, I'm a more central. Hope you enjoyed Jake's introduction. Now we're going to go straight into the news for episode 9 of Talking Busters. Um, the first bit of news is big, big, big headline that has just come in. Um, luckily, we're recording this a bit later than again planned. So it has just come in. Is Giles Fernley, um, the managing director of First Group, who has been in the bus industry for decades now, a well-known name, is going to be stepping down from First Group. Um, under his name saw the new introduction of the Olympia brand liveries and as well as a whole new regeneration of the first group operation. He's going to be succeeded by um, Janet Bell as first group managing director from later on this year. In our first group news, um, it seems that all the big names are standing down. Um, James Freeman, the um, sort of mani the main top management guy at First West of England, the Bristol Western and Bats operations, is also going to be stepping down from next May. Um, West of England operation is possibly one of the best um, first group operations in the UK, on par with Glasgow in quality of brands operation um, and has a really, really good relationship with the media. So it's going to be a shame to see him stand down, although hopefully someone will um, take on the role and succeed it just as well as he has done. In other news, um, the Optair Metro City EV, the London um, liveried sort of dual door single decker with the road lines, has returned to go north east for more demonstration there. That is a fully electric vehicle um, on the Optair Metro City body um, and hopefully go north east maybe buying some of them soon. Finally, um, on our next sort of main news headline, this is quite a small sort of news sort of bit with Jake explaining a lot and we've got a big feature as well, um, is the Utong TCE12 coach. There should be a photo slash video, if I can find the video that I got of it, um, there'll be a video now. That coach is the first in the UK to receive the ultra low emission certification, meaning it can drive around pretty much everywhere now um, when all these new low emission zones come in. It can go into London without having to pay any sort of um, road, no, what do you call it, road tax, low emission, emission tax, whatever you call it, the emission charge. Um, congestion charge, that's the word. So yes, it is the first um, vehicle in the UK to be given the ultra low emission certification. So that's all of the uh, main news, uh, news headlines. I'm going to pass now back to Jake, who is going to explain the local news. So with local news, we will start with first. A um, few loanies and odd workings and things like that, which have happened this week in particular. Uh, from Bramley, we've had 66739. Uh, it's had some mechanical work done and then it did a little bit on the 784 of all routes. So that was quite interesting. I'm sure Alex will post his photograph now. So yes, that did the 784 uh, this week on the 7th, which is probably the first time uh, an older Eclipse has worked that route probably the first time one has been to Skipton too so that's quite interesting uh, on the same day 66768 also worked at Hunslet for the day and that did the 47 or the 48 one of those routes uh, and 32437 also helped out and did I believe that did the Dewsby roads 2s, 3s, 12s, 13s all that good stuff uh, they all came back to Bramley that night so we shall move swiftly on to Transdev before my screen goes off. Um, Keefley's 1846 and Harrogate's 3614 have gone to Rosso for whatever reason. 
Um, I don't know. I guess they need buses since they've sent vehicles over to the flyer. Um, 3614 is still in HBC livery. They removed the front logo. However, the side logos and everything is still in place. So that's made for some interesting photographs. I don't know if we have any to show, but if we do, there we go. Uh, 3606 has been withdrawn from the deals way, um, mostly from mechanical faults and things like that. So 3604 has now come over to Keyflit in its place, working the same route. Ba -ba -da -ba, scroll down, got all my notes on my tablet because there is a lot this week. Um, Reva, yes, Reva 1903 has come back into service after its RTC. Um, it's been repainted into the older Max livery, so the, the livery it was already in, it's just had repaint uh, or refresh, I suppose you could say, uh, in that livery. Um, and 1932, 33, and 37 have moved from Belisle. To Heckmund Wyke, they are in, I believe, 32 and 37 are in the old Sapphire and 33 is in the new Sapphire, or 32 and 33 is in new Sapphire and 37 is in old. Or maybe they're all in new, I can't actually remember. Uh, and 1411 has gone from Selby to Belisle as well. I believe there's another note. Moving on to Tigers, 1307, 8, 9, and 10 have moved from Castleford over and they're still in a Riva livery at the moment so they're at Waterloo to join the other tempos which are there uh, 13 11 13 12 are to join shortly when the verses are there and in service I believe 794 has arrived 795 is getting done I think 793 is also there but I think that's getting done at the moment as well Possibly. Uh, stagecoach Yorkshire. The, well, this is very interesting. Six Volvo B70Ls are arriving from Lothian, the East Coast Buses Division. They are now covering the tram reps, uh, which Powell's were doing over the summer holidays. Um, their contract have ended. So, Stagecoach have stepped in. They've had Magic Buses from Manchester covering. Now they've got these B7s which are on from Enzin uh, and then will transfer to Newcastle after use. Uh, Scania's 15644 and 45 from Chesterfield and 15589 from Gilmos Liverpool have arrived at Barnsley. They have swapped for two of the golds, I believe 156, 10 and 11. This is where I need to see the edit. 10 and 11, yes. And 15535 as well. I would also like to note, I think Alex has also mentioned this, but the very, very weird Hunslet duties, which are doing the duplicate services as well, since that's local. Um, there's been a few at Bradford and Halifax, which have been covered by Hunslet Park, buses and drivers they're not on loan or anything like that Hunslet are running those services um particularly at 590 592 576 uh the 620s uh what else was there there was uh, there's a few things i think there's a few photographs which alex has done uh that's that's very strange the only time we ever get leeds buses in Bradford is Boxing Day and they're covered by Bramley. Uh, we've had Leeds City Single Deckers last Boxing Day doing services and we've had the Street Decks on the 72s. Um, but this time it's been Hunslet Vehicles covering services that are duplicates. So that's been very, very interesting. Um, so I think that will do for this week's local segment. So I'll pass it back to Alex, who will introduce part two and the back seat. Thank you very much for watching. 
So thank you, Jake. Um, join us in part two, where I'm going to be going through our special feature this week that is introducing what our different areas are doing about the new school bus um, operations, the concepts around COVID-19 and how in extra buses have been duplicated on certain services, as well as our back seat that is hopefully going to be a nice special one for those of you who are fans of the Lovian B7 Geminis. So join us in part two for that. We will see you then. So welcome back to part two. Um, hope you've enjoyed part one. Part two, we're going to be discussing the school bus operation, sort of how different areas are coping about ensuring that kids can get to and from school without causing too much issue um, and too much pressure on the already and reduced capacity public transport network. So let's start in West Yorkshire. Um, I'm going to introduce you a number of photos now that I took um, from Bradford and Halifax's um, ways of, of sort of catering for this. So I'll show you them now. So as you could see, they were in Bradford and on Halifax services and they were using LTT buses. Within West Yorkshire, um, the decision has been taken to just introduce double deckers onto most public services at um, school outing times. Um, when it comes to sort of Bradford, for example, duplicate buses have been put on and um, four buses have been provided um, for Halifax and for Bradford from Hunslet Park daily using Hunslet Park buses and staff. And they are coming in and covering the same shifts on the 576s, 592s, a 641, two 620s and the 622 working. So they are covering them at the moment and they are to assist with sort of um, school outing times and when kids are being picked up at bus stops so that there's nobody is left behind in areas such as the northeast we'll go over there now unfortunately there's no photos from us for that however in the northeast um go northeast have introduced an extra 56 buses around peak hour and um, school school finishing and starting times these have seen both extra buses duplicated on their own services as well as arriva and stagecoach routes as well um, these Reeve and Stagecoach routes have been using everything from Catano, Levantes to Sitaros and everything in between and are duplicates on their normal service work that a Reeve and Stagecoach operate, but for school children only. Um, something else to note as well is that from one of the heritage groups for Newcastle, going off East Kimberley have a route master on loan, an RML and um, front door um, specification, when one of the ones that was purchased by Northern um, around the time that LT were um, buying their own route masters. And that is currently operating peak workings between Gateshead and Chesterly Street on Route 21, um, going past the Angel of the North. If we move further down to Middlesbrough and Arriva's own duplicate operation, they have taken hand of our um, Yorkshire Tiger vehicles, including a Solo, the number of cadets, and Commander, a number from the Flying Tiger operation, as well as a few from Waterloo and Ellen Garages as well. So they have taken on board them. In Manchester, Manchester are doing something very similar as well, only on their duplicates, they are only hiring coach operators out. So coach operators have been duplicating services on some routes such as the 112 between Middleton and Manchester, and a few other services around that area as well. If we move down as well to South Yorkshire, South Yorkshire haven't been introducing, I've been on a very, very similar par with West Yorkshire in introducing double deckers onto services as well as duplicating um, buses at busy times. This includes a currently on the BL2 service, the um, tram replacement, a duplicate use of two buses um, on a run from halfway to Sheffield at about 3pm that caters for the school just outside of Crystal Peaks. Other services around here, obviously, are just carrying normal full capacity um, with school buses currently being exempt from um, the sort of passenger limit restriction due to them all being from one school. So Johnson's, etc., who are operating their normal school contracts and having too much of these issues. The good thing about South Yorkshire is they do have a lot of school contracts anyway. A lot of their services that carry school kids are school contracts. Thus why they haven't had to duplicate many buses or do anything along the lines of that. 
So that is basically the sum up of the school operation that's currently going on. If you do want to contribute anything for next week that I can report on, on that front, do let me know as I will be keeping it updated if anything else happens. Obviously, route mastering some traffic and we've gone off east for a few weeks is such an oddity um, and so, so different. But something hopefully I'm going to visit before it goes off fleet again. So as you'll notice, this video is episode 9. Um, next week will be episode 10 and episode 10 is going to mark the end of series 2 and will mark the end of talking buses for what is probably going to be a prolonged break. The reason there's going to be this prolonged break is because I myself is moving off to university obviously needs to settle down do all of that stuff. Jake is going to be moving is going to be sort of doing a lot more work and things with that in the background. So at the moment it's not going to be feasible for us to continue the series probably until about October, November time when we hope to resume the series. So for next week's video in episode 10, I'm looking for contributions. I'm looking for people to hopefully, if you want to involve yourself in doing some sort of level of report for us, um, if you want to report on something, you can feel free to record yourself uh, reporting on this in whatever um, sort of situation you want. Or if you want to um, show us a little clip from um, you bus spotting after watching this TV show, have you gone out on video, the YouTube show, whatever you want to call it, have you gone out and photographed the buses or recorded the buses that we've told you about? Or have what we've done, have we inspired you to do that? So send us in some clips for those of you who are avid viewers of the show. Send us in clips to the Facebook page. Um, and more central on Facebook. It will be linked in the description below. If your file is too big to send on the Facebook um, sort of messengers, upload it to YouTube as unlisted and send us a link on the Facebook as well. And we will pick our favourite ones and put them in some sort of compilation to mark the end of what has been probably one of the most successful series that me and Jake have run. Obviously, this series isn't fully ending. We're just taking a break with it at the moment. However, do expect us to be back um, come November um, for the five episode segment up to Christmas, including the Boxing Day workings as well. So for now, thank you for um, watching the show. Thank you for enjoying it. We do hope to see you next week. Please do send in your contributions. Um, our back seat today, if I can load it up, because for some bizarre reason I've taken it off my screen, is East Coast Buses Gemini SM56 AEZ. That is not what it seems. Um, I don't, I, Jake, I think, has reported on it. Um, this week on Wednesday, um, seven EX East Coast buses in full white and green livery enter traffic with Stagecoach Yorkshire on loan um, from, I believe, Ensign Bus for the BL2 um, tram replacement service between Halfway and Sheffield. So on the first day out, I went out an SM56 AEZ, currently number 20799, as it was in the East Coast Buses fleet, on a run from Sheffield to Halfway. So there's a clip of that. Full video will be on YouTube as usual. Um, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, please do contribute, and we will see you in next week's show. Goodbye for now.